Good morning. Today on DIY Solar Power with Papa, overnight it was 39 degrees for the temperature in our backyard, and we've been heating our pool for the last couple of days. And what we've been doing is we've been running this 18,000 BTU fibro pool, 120 volt pool heater overnight to maintain our temperature. And we run that on solar during the day and we run it on grid at night. And right now you can see we have 76 degrees coming in and 77 going out. And that's what we had last night at five o'clock when we switched this over. And it's running about a dollar a day to maintain this pool temperature. Now we raised this from 49 degrees, I think it was like eight, eight nine days ago, and we've been slowly bringing it up. But we're using this 127,000 BTU uh, Hayward pool heater, and that's able to raise our temperature during the day and it's basically costing us like a dollar a degree to raise that pool temperature. So if I want to raise my pool temperature by 10 degrees, it's costing me 10 bucks to increase that temperature. And then to keep it there, using this fibro pool heater, it's only costing me a dollar to maintain it. And then I don't have to use this big one anymore. I'm just using this big one to heat it up, but I'm using the little one to maintain it. So I'm hoping that by the time I get this up to 85 to 89 degrees, that I'll be able to maintain it and it'll cost me about 30 to $45 a month in the winter time, even when it's in the thirties overnight to maintain that pool temperature so I can swim year round so this thing only uses this fiber only uses around eight to nine hundred watts um while it's running in the winter time in the summertime when it's hotter out and it's like 90 or 100 it'll use like 1500 watts and at nighttime we're running our pool pump at 900 rpms overnight and that's also on the grid so that's included in our cost which we'll be switching that over to running that on our battery bank but it's really not that much i think it's maybe 60 watts or something per hour it's really not that much at all so we're going to run this heater right now. Um, it's got the temperature, and you can see that or not, there it is, 75 degrees right now, and it's 46 degrees out <laughs> right now. So we're going to run that today for a couple hours and get our temperature up to about 80 degrees. And then we'll take a look and see if tomorrow when we come out, if we're still holding and maintaining on this fibro at 80 degrees overnight. So it's really, if I were to try and maintain it with this and just leave that running on the 240 volts, that thing uses 5,500 to 6,500 watts an hour to run that thing. So once it gets up to temp, it would shut off and turn back on, shut off, turn back on. And this thing, once it gets up to temp, it will shut off and turn back on. But I believe we can get this up into the high 80s on this fibro pool and be able to um, maintain that temperature as long as we have that pool cover on over here. 
we got to keep that pull cover on and um, that'll help keep the heat in. So, I mean, I'm wearing sweats. It's so cold outside. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to give you an update on that uh, pool heater. It is Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, and the pool's at 75 degrees right now. Like I said, we're going to get that up to 80 degrees by the end of the day. Tomorrow, we'll get it up to 85, and then the next day, we'll get up to 90. I could run it overnight, all night, but it's kind of loud, and it keeps us up at night, so... I'd rather not if I don't have to, and I'm in no hurry to go swimming right now. I'm just trying to heat this pool up and maintain it um, to show on the videos, but we will be going swimming, <laughs> especially when our days get in the 60s and 70s. It's beautiful out here, nice and warm, and there's really not a breeze or anything, so it's great to be able to go in that pool, and it only takes two to four minutes to pull that pool cover off and then I vacuum it probably takes about 15 minutes to vacuum and we're good to go so hope you enjoyed the video please like share subscribe and hit that notification bell and hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day talk to you soon